well, well, well. Hello, 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 all my machine heads, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to day two on the Bank Loan Challenge here on Maypole. Dun, dun, dun. We are going to go buy 20. We're going to start with 20 chickens because that's all the wheat we have. We can't get any more. So how's everybody doing today? I'm doing awesome. I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic as usual. We're going to duck right in here. We're going to buy 19 chickens and one, one, one rooster. And we're going to buy the ones that are older so that they can reproduce because we are playing so long of seasons. This is an extreme challenge. Uh, Going to buy 19. And then, and then, buy, yes, and then, one is the loneliest number that you ever knew. Two can be as bad as one. You can tell that I'm in a really good mood. All right, and let's go see them. Let's go see them. There they are, flopping around, flying around, or trying to. <laughs> <laughs> Contrary to the popular myth, chickens can fly, but not very far. All right, so let's get this in here and give them their wheat. Their wheat. How do you say cool? Wheat. There she is. I was like, where is it? Now this should, because 38,000 gave us 50. So I got 20. So let's go down to the animals. The animals. Uh, Why do we only have... Okay. Well, let's do it. plan B. All right. So, well, we're right here. Let us buy. Okay, I thought for sure. My figuring is wrong. So, let's go like this. Let's go like this, 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 this. Construction and containers. And where is my multi-buy station? There she is. Let's put this right over behind this thing here. We'll back right up to it. And we'll we'll use this for now. Which will give us a chance to... We're going to fill this bad boy right up. And we are going to get a chance to now do our cows. Right, let's get this under here. Wait, let's buy it all. Whoops. Get a little bit under there. How much does this hold anyways? 30,000! 30,000! Welcome, welcome, welcome to all the brand new family members. Oh man, we got another permanent meth member to the multiplayer Friday, Mr. Donald. Mr. Don. It's going to be great. I'm going to buy him his Fast Track 8330, which I'm using on this Let's Play. So it'll be cool. It'll be cool. It'll be cool. I got to do one favor for Ranger here in a minute. As soon as I see... Oh, I got to buy more. Got to buy more. Man, I really like this map a lot. I like... Oh, I'm into the, I'm into the building. I'm into the building. Okay, while this is filling up, Ranger, let me take a look at what you asked me. Okay. Uh, he wanted to know the interest on the loan for one day. Is it the 14000 Loan interest, $1,190. That's He asked me what the loan interest is. That's crazy. 14000 is what we've... That's how much we paid in wages already. 
that crazy? Crazy talk. So, Ranger, the loan interest on $10 million is only $1,190. going to start our animals getting going with our hay and then... Well, this way we can just buy it, and then we'll go clear the bales off, and we'll have our bales for next time, bales of straw, and then we'll hopefully start mowing. Let me get back to the Angelo screen. Okay, one more. 70, why is that 75,000? When I just did this map, a couple of days ago to practice it was only like 38 or was that 38,000 so we wanted to start with 50 so let's buy us so we can we can do this we can buy chickens we got 20 21 22 23 4 5 6 Six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. There. Because I don't think they only need one. Um, see, I put fifty in there. And it's it gives me the same amount. So I think it only fills up what they absolutely need. Whoops. All right, so we're gonna buy this again. This is this is gonna suck down some of our money, but that's okay. Yeah, Ranger just messaged me and told me that we, we wanted to practice getting into multiplayer. Oh, a couple of things, everyone. I found out everyone was having problems with the um, the uh, getting on to after the patch, getting on to 1.4. Um, there. So they are full now. Chickens are 81,000, and that's all that fits in them, and they're full. Okay, so, oh, that's the rooster. Okay, productivity, eggs, eggs. Now, the question I have is, uh, where does the eggs spawn at? Oh, over here. Okay, perfect. So I can pick them up. They, did they spawn in pallets? I've never done chickens. So we're going to learn this together. So we got some wheat for the next couple of days. We'll dump this in the silo, and then we're going to go buy us 50 Holsteins in each pen, and then we're going to start filling them up. When it gets to be in the afternoon, we'll go pick up our bales, and we'll have our bales. Now, this was not planned. I had planned on just getting them. Oh, I still can't load the game. Um, I'll message him later. Yeah, it's uh, it's the script. It's the scripts. Um, anything that changes the scripts, def pack, all that stuff, uh, won't load you in. Now, what I did is I not only updated the game, but I updated my XMLs because I know how to do it. So I was able to get in. But they're gonna, Giants is fully aware of it, and they're gonna put out a hot patch. Um, but I had to go into Steam and change everything. I had to take out some of the things like this game doesn't have death loaded up and all that stuff. So it is what it is. So hopefully they get it. Otherwise, we may not have multiplayer Friday. All right. So we're going to buy. Well, let's get some straw first. Since we're buying stuff, we'll use the wagon. The, the wagon. The wagon. This is going to be quite expensive. Kind of like where I put that. But we talked about this, that we're going to buy what we can buy to get us started.
This will get them starting to produce manure. Um, this, we're going to be coming in and out of here for just a few times. Then, like I said, when it gets to be afternoon, we'll go pick up our bales, and we'll have our bales for another day when we need them. So we'll get ahead a little bit, which is good. But it's costing us money right now. Uh, let's go. Now, the brown Swiss does milk as well, right? Um, they're the same price, so let's go 50 of these bad girls. Look at how much money it's costing me. 82 grand. Okay. Well, it, it don't take much straw. Maybe the 38,000 was just the straw. Yeah, because it's, it's already in the green. That is good. That is good. Oh, this is awesome. I actually, I, w I was really shocked. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for all the wonderful comments. Uh, I was shocked of how much I'm going to enjoy this. Because, yes, it is a big undertaking to try to make this much. Like Reefy said, he's like, I hate being in debt. So, um, we all agree with that. I don't like it either, which is why I'm going to work real hard at it. Right now, I seem to be spending more money than I can get. I still have to buy equipment yet. <laughs> and that's great, though, because here's what I also told, I told Ian. Oh, by the way, make sure you guys go check out Ian's channel. He had a wonderful stream today. I'll be sharing his video uh, of his live stream. Um, he's doing the same map. So it's exciting to watch somebody doing it differently. He's got somebody helping him, which is kind of cool. Um, his moderator is helping him. So that's kind of cool. But I'll post his link to his channel and everything in mine. So you go check him out. He's great. There. Now, these guys are full of straw. Th there it is. There's 38,000 was the straw in the cows. But see this Flegel gigant here absolutely works for um, like the cow pens and stuff. Man, this map is fantastic. All right, let's get this going here and we'll buy 50 over here. Which will give us a chance now. I'm not. I can't use mixed ration. I just got to use hay. We talked about that. Not until our loan is paid off. That is the rules. Okay, Holstein, and fifty. There we go. Now we have a hundred cows. We're gonna mow their pen, by the way. Because I'm going to feed them their hay. See this, this uh, Fligo trailer really works well in this cow pen. I like it a lot. <laughs> We're also not going to be able to use the robots until we get everything that we need, like silage and stuff. And I can't feed these guys silage until the until the loan's paid off. So, because even though we got eight million nine hundred thousand dollars, we still owe ten million dollar loan. And I can't just the deal is is that what I'm going to try to do is get everything that I need first before I get rid of the money. Alright, and this should fill it. We'll have a little bit left over. Plus, we have the straw off the fields. But, the good news is, as part of realism, is we're letting the straw, like if you had straw bales sitting out, you would let them dry out into the sun. But, I, I was actually shocked, Ranger, that the um... That loan interest was only $1,000 on $10 million. 
Now, the other thing that it may do, Ranger, is it may um, only be taken into consideration, because that's a mod that I put in there. Um, it may only take into consideration the million dollar loan. So I'm not quite sure. So we might want to think about that. Start coming in this back way to feed them. Now, once we get going, I probably will either A, put the straw bales into a, um, a mixing wagon, or I'll buy a blower, which I'll probably just buy a blower. Now, will this, can I put straw into this? No. All right, so where can we sell our straw? Uh... Three lines, three lines, let's see. Straw. Um, biomass heating plant, farmer's market. Let me see where the map is. See which one's closest. Uh, sugar mill. Biogas. The biogas plant's the closest. All right. So we're going to mark that. Uh, and tag place. Okay. So where is she? Oh, I go back up. Oh, it's actually down by the store. Oh, okay. That's easy enough. We're going to sell this back because we don't need it because now we have straw bales to help us out. I also finished the harvest on that field. And what I told you that we can do, we can't change the borders of the field, but I can get rid of the trees. And if you notice, what I did is I got rid of the trees around this field here. See, we're going to still keep the border, but we're going to get rid of these nasty trees um, that I can't stand. They make a nice map, but I don't like them. There we go. There she's the green light. I really like these fast tracks. They bebop around. The other reason I wanted to tell you guys, the other reason that... um. I will be putting out those other videos maybe is it's a playoff for basketball so and I'm a huge sports fan so the games in my area come on really really late um anybody know how to get back there uh oh right there out of soon out of soon let's get back in here so we don't get clobbered by the trees That's the drive-in cab, but I'm trying to. There she goes. This is where we're going to come and buy it and sell our bales. Now, we're not going to get much for this, but actually more than I thought. I can't even, I can't even pay that back yet. Because you have to play it in increments of 5,000. Right. Now let's go get those girls some hay. Then we'll go collect our bales. And if we got some time, we'll start mowing. Yeah, I wish you could set it up where you could pay the loan back in every single penny that you made. But you can't. You got to do it in increments of 5000 So I should have just stored that on the farm underneath one of the sheds and just used it. That would have been a little bit better. 
Yeah, see how it opens it up without the trees? But the, the field, the, the border of the field is still there, so it's kind of cool. And I guess Ranger said I can put this into, I could make that into a uh, case? I don't know. Now, I think I'm going to get them some, a couple of loads of hay that I know they'll take. Then I think we'll pick up the straw bales and then start mowing our hay. We have a lot of grass to mow. Just to get them started. Because if you think about it, 30,000 is only, there's 7,200 bales. It's only like four bales, four and a half bales worth. Go, girl. She's gonna have some basic food right now. Four bales worth until we get bowing. Let's go down here to the animals. Yeah, 20, 29,400. It gets them just as they're still in the red, so we're gonna have to put definitely put a bunch of hay bales in there, but it'll get them started. I'll put one, one in the other one, and then we're gonna put this wagon away and go start picking up our straw bales. Get that bailed up, and then we're going to come and start mowing their pens. Hopefully, we have enough time. Because I don't want to leave those hay bales out too long. Or straw bales out. I want to get them put away. There. 30,000 liters. Now we got our chickens, and we got our cows on day two. Only 26 more days to go before we get through a month. But I'm excited because, it's, as you guys can see, it's going to take a long, long time to make money. I'm going to need that time to get my animals. Now, they will start producing manure right away and uh, slurry right away. So, I don't know how much it's going to make in a month. I can tell you that when I was monkeying around at 5x speed... Uh, trying to set this up and I played for like an hour which was five hours they had 11 milk so I would assume in a day but that is also one day months too so it may take us a while there now the girls got some feed just to, just to start they got full straw so we won't have to worry about the straw now let's put this away and then go collect the rest of our bales off our field. And then we got to bale the other field up. Hopefully we can get all that done in one day. All right, so we're going to put this right here for now. And we're going to put straw in, uh, actually, no, I got to move this down. Move it down. Move it down. Um, I'm going to put straw in this one. And hay and the other one down here. The two big ones. Woo. Here he's got to watch where he's going. I can't imagine Giants taking too long with that hop patch. They, too many people got mods. And if you're going to take away from people's mods to play the game, they're going to lose their minds. Like, I don't use Death Pack, and I don't use that sort of thing myself. Um... So that didn't affect me. I know we have it on multiplayer. Um, and Ranger uses it. So it affects him and affects us, affects our multiplayer. Okay. I can see this little 4220 getting the most amount of work because this is the one I bebop around with mostly. But I'll start switching it up as soon as we're done bailing. Pick this up. See, this field is not that small. It's almost a 10 acre field. There's two. 
tree? I'll have all these trees gone, which will be natural headlands around, like natural grass headlands. And what we'll do to simulate realism is we won't mow them. They'll just be headlands that we can turn around on and drive around on and got one more bale down there in the corner. What I like about this thing is these things could be crooked and they still pick them up. Nope, I got, I go four high, I go four. This little machine is really super cool and it's super realistic too. It's just the same as auto load. Go down and pick up that one that's over here. And then we're going to all raise this up. <laughs> well, I wonder if it'll pick it up standing up. Yes, it will. Now we got, that's 12 bales of straw so far. At seven, we'll round it to seven. So 10 times seven is 70,000. Uh, we'll round it down just a little bit. So 70,000 straw and it only takes 72,000 to fill both of them completely with straw. And right now, just off that field alone, we have enough to fill them again completely. Then I'll, I'll restack these once I get my telehandler. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Got to hit the right button here first. Get over the ump there and then let it open up. Yep. Then when I get the telehandler, I'll restack these. This is stuff that we can do in the dead of winter when there's nothing else to do is we come and restack. We cut down our... Cut down the trees around the field. Man, I worked all the way into the dark last time, everyone, just to know. Because at 10x speed, I finished harvesting. I left you guys at 6. I finished harvesting. It was about 7.30. Uh, and then it was almost... I had to cut the trees down with a light on a flashlight. It was great. There. 70,000 straw by the time this field right here we get one two three is 90,000 straw so that's enough to fill both pens one more complete time if it goes completely empty so that's cool we still have the straw on the other on the other uh we'll take this over there Go. Love this machine. There, that one's harvested and the bales are cleaned up. And we're going to go like this and we're going to take this right across the street. And we're going to take, oh, we got to go down and buy us. I'm going to try something real quick here. We got to buy another header trailer. So let's leave that there and we're going to buy us cars. And I'm going to buy the TLX. Because I want to start running with this right here. Uh, I don't need anything extra on it right now. Um, let's see. Let's go. Uh, where's the wagon? It fits up to 82,000 liters in this small little wagon. So let's buy this. Oh, did I get a, did I get a trailer hitch on this? I don't know if you can or not. Cause that's gonna that's gonna change everything. Extras, lighting, cabs, mirrors, engine. Uh, we'll keep the keep this. Uh, 
Go Tomiers, Tatchers, Plow Mount. I guess there's a plow that comes with it. How do I... Oh, kit. Okay. I gotta figure out how to get a... Uh, uh. Hmm. Well, oh wait. <laughs> Is there anything with a a trailer hitch on it? Because I gotta be able to. Tear, I want to get this for our running of things. Oh, you don't want. It only holds 6,000, so. Oh, yeah. Let's. It's probably on this. Uh, capacity. Extension. <laughs> let's do that. Unreal. No. You know what? No. We're going to change this. I got to take a look at that off camera. Wasting too much time. Uh, where is my... Because if that doesn't have a trailer hitch, there's absolutely no sense in having it. There is no sense in having it whatsoever. Because I got to get the bigger header trailer. We all know that. Okay, and then I think what I'm going to do is... This has a trailer hitch on it. I know for a fact it does. Because I use this a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's sweet looking right there. Hmm. Let's just go like that. Uh, where's my trailer hitch attachers? There. Let's make sure that takes a pin hitch. And it does. Perfect. Let's go get our header. I will figure out that TLX because I do want to try it. This thing sounds cool. And it looks even better in here. <laughs> now, this is a quite a bit bigger header trailer, but. need it because as you remember I don't want to drive unrealistically through fields like I did last time to get where I needed to be I'm gonna load that up right there tab 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 okay I gotta Gotta back that around a little bit. Right between the hedges. Oops. Now 
we got to find a spot to put this so that it's out of the way. Um, let's put it, uh, yeah, let's put it in here. It seems to be a little bit more open spot here. We'll put this right by our house here. That way, no one can steal it. I'll move it around where I can. to park this this is super realistic from the videos that I watched the harvester barely gets down the roads all right I think I'm gonna put this in with the wagon for now will be where our harvester goes. I'll move the wagon because I think I'm going to back the header in here later if we got time. All right, so look at that crazy different way that I went. Uh, V and a B, and let's go. Now, remember, this field was not, um, was not fertilized at all, and we still, we still got 16,000 out of it. That's why I like this thing, because you can get this. This is what I was talking to Ian about today is do your headlands last. Because when you normally, you wouldn't be going different rows like this. You'd have all your rows going the same way. You don't want to hit your bales when you're going around turning around. So you want to do your headlands last with the swaths. So that's another 7,000. We are at 90,000. That's going to be right in the way. <laughs> there we go. I just seem to miss a lot less with this thing because it seems like when you're using a regular baler, it seems like you miss everything uh, in game anyways. You miss like all these little bits and it ends up being almost a bale's worth. Whoops, like that. That's just my OCD driving me nuts. There we go.
take this off here real quick. Turn that back off. I don't like to use it, but that bale dropped in a really weird spot. Swinger and back her up and then go, go, go. See how the days just progress so much better. So much better. See, this is what I meant, Ian. Now you're driving over your bales to you turn around. Other than that one that was uncontrollable. And plus, I normally don't have lines going that way. I would go all the same way. With us getting the trees out of here now, we can do one headland around. Um, oh, got a lag spike. Did one headland and then, or even two, and then he can go back and forth, and then we're ready to go. Ready to go. You know, I never thought in a million years that these things were real. Until real. So I looked them up and I was like, darn, they are super real. One, two, three, four, five, six. Getting ready for our seventh bale here. Off just this little field. So seven times seven is another 50,000. That's enough. We've got enough straw now to fill our straw bins twice. Completely. But I don't know how long that's going to last. We'll find out. When it's gone, it's gone until our new, our crops come back. Give me, give me, give me. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bales. Eight times seven is 56, and the 90, so. Uh, let's see, 56 and 90 is 140. 40,000 so literally can fill both bins twice and I, I rounded down now I can get in here whoops I hit the wrong button get in here a little closer that's why like I almost downloaded the Heston Baylor um, because you can get 85 or 9,500 liters in each bale. And when we're going to have a dairy the size that we're going to have, I want to be sure that we can get as least amount of feed as we can. This will be pulled out again. And then I'll put this bad boy right next to it for now until we get it, we figure out where we're going to go with our uh, equipment. Okay. There we go. Pick these up. We will have gotten all the bail off. We got all our animals done today. Um, we, got, we got a lot done already. Yes, 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 my master, yes. <laughs> so what you guys got going on on your farms? I know it's got to be pretty close to harvesting time. I saw that Creighton Gaming came out with a multiplayer on Goldcrest Valley. As I told him in the comments, I didn't like Goldcrest Valley in 17, and I didn't like it in 19, and I definitely don't like it in 22. Um, it seems more now. So Snowfka seemed a little more real to me. Mm. 
Now, normally, I would be stacking this up, and maybe once we get the telehandler, I will stack it all. I'll just collect them all. Okay. And turn that off so we can drive up the road here. So much better without the trees. What I think I'll do is, going forward, uh, I'll when I end the video at 6 o'clock, which is 1,800, um, I think what I'll do is I'll spend, until I can't see anymore, clearing trees out of the fields that we're working in so that we can actually do it the right way. Um, that was the only changes I wanted to make to the map was I knew that uh, I knew I was going to have to remove them because you lose a lot of land with these trees in the way. And I think, like I said, I can drop off the straw bales and once we get the telehandler in full piles out here and then stack them in there as I need them, providing it's not going to rain. See, it's funny, too, because what I'm enjoying the most is I'm playing the same amount of time, except for it just seems, believe it or not, it seems more real to me. Um, like, you're constantly, like a, a real farmer, you're constantly, constantly doing, like, you're moving. You're constantly, like, um, trying to just maximize your time as much as you can. Your, uh, South Central Wisconsin Farmer will attest to that. Uh, you're just constantly trying to do something or another to maximize your time. And if you're not doing this, I was watching. Uh, guys got to watch a few acre farm. That's that's the, the guy's name is Pete, and he literally uses only old farm all equipment, case equipment, um, and it's great. Like old, old, old stuff. Like I'm talking like. The 20s and 30s stuff. And he started a tractor today in the video that I watched. They've been sitting in his barn for a year. And it was... 1926 was the tractor year that it came out. And it was had still had metal wheels and stuff on it. Oh, it was great. And he got it. It was the old crank turns on the front. And then he showed that he was, he was spread manure with it. It's just like... I'm fascinated with that stuff because... That's how I grew up. I didn't grow up with these fancy dancy equipment. I grew up with, you know, we didn't have GPS and all this fancy stuff that modern farmers had. We had to figure out how to do the lines ourselves. All right, so our bales are collected. Now we're gonna go down and buy our Corona. Corona! So we got enough to feed or fill the straw twice more. I hope that's enough to get us through the year. We're going to have to keep track of the uh, 30, I'll go 30, 38,000 even. How long, how much we use per day. See, we got two milk already. It's not going to take long to start making the milk that we need. Now for now, I'm going to start. Stack this this thing right here because I'm going to leave it hooked right to this. Shut her off. And we're going to go down and we're going to buy the mowers. And we're going to buy the Stevie. And uh, we're going to go a little bit slower. Not crazy slow. Like 11. I'll go to the big engine, but watch this. This is for Ranger. Case. Design color, case, <laughs> rim color. I don't think case has pure white rims, right? I think they're more like, they're not black. They're more like gray, aren't they? That's what I think they're, well, you know what? Hang on, we'll check. We'll do this. We'll go large tractors and we'll go case. We'll see what's the first case. Yeah, they're gray wheels. Told you. They're like gray wheels. Okay. This is this is for, 
I'm only doing this for Ranger because he has a stroke every time I don't color something red. <laughs> what a great guy. He's my he's my brother from another mother. He really is. Domain color case. Design color case. Rim color gray. Here we go. Here we go, Ranger. Now this does have a trailer hitch on it, so technically I can buy our tether and Ted at the same time. I don't know how realistic that is. So I'm gonna take it back to the farm. Um let's see, what's the width on this thing here? Uh, 10 meters. So we got to get it something that's at least 10 meters. And I think it's this. 6.9, 9 meters. I think it's this. Yep. And we're going to go. There. So it's the same speed. Now I'm not going to Ted with this. Because I don't know how realistic that is. I don't know. I've never seen it. All the videos I've seen, they mow first. But we're going to leave it on wide swathing so we can Ted. We'll Ted with our tractor like you're supposed to. But what I liked about it is I can drag it up there in one trip. And Stevie made this thing go super fast. Let's take a look in here. Man, that is super nice. You could bow and cab with this thing. And like I said, I never thought in a gazillion, gazillion, bazillion, gazillion years that people in the Europe use this a lot, but they do. Man, the guy, the guy is from Ireland, the one video uh, that I watched, and he's like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we use it. Like I told you guys yesterday, he, uh, they started out where they were only using it on like 10 acre fields, and now they're using it on like acre fields. Which, if you think about how small an acre is, like uh, Pete from um, just a few acre farms only has like a four acre grass field. All right, so we're going to mow this right with our girls in here because they already got food. So we're going to get we're going to get them kicked right out of our way. Move, move, psh, 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 psh. move. Move. That's me pretending to smack him. Whoops. Let's unhook that. We don't need that in the field list. Um. Beep, 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 beep. Come on. What's the horn button? <laughs> oh. I thought I hit the cow. All right, so X to fold it. I want to make sure that this is on widespreading, which it is. And then B to B to lower it. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right through the cows. Now you can see how absolutely awesome this thing is going to work. The turning radius is great on it. You can get right up to the edge with it. You're going to fly like the wind. Fly like an eagle. <laughs> oh, what 1970s song is that from, everyone? Okay, I don't want to go through you, but we're going to go through you anyways, because I got to get this done. See, it's got like a, it's like a giant zero turn mower. I love it. With the amount of grass that we're going to need until our uh, until we get this loan paid off, we're still going to need a lot. My suggestion is don't.
<laughs> I should have mowed before I put the cows in here. <laughs> For realism sense, anyways. I want to see something. Does this thing have enough turn to turn, like, on a dime? Pretty close. Pretty darn close, everyone. I know with two headlands. See, I just think it's great with the power um, to be able to just mow like this. And it, you know what's sad? It's 10 meters wide, right? So the big triple mower is 10 meters wide. So it's the same thing as you're using, except for it's a big piece of equipment. So I am going to get our second headland so I can quit running into things. We're almost done, everyone. Sorry, girl. I'm going to cut you off at the knees. Here we're gonna take this wide so we cut that. See you can just you can really just power through this. And this is the same width as the triple mowers, which is way more efficient. And that's what the guy was saying when he was doing the product demo. He was like, you know, it's become you get in and out of the fields quicker. Absolutely. This is, I think for me going forward, I'm going to make sure that this gets used on every Let's Play. Um, just way, way, way better, way more efficient than even my Swather that I loved. And just like that, that field's mode. We're going right over to the next pasture and start on that one for the next 15 minutes. That, I don't know how realistic that is where they play like that. It's my fault trying to hurry. Now, I normally, just to let everybody know, I normally would not mow this if I have live cattle in there because they would be grazing on it. But because we're in a video game, got to utilize the grass. Yeah. <laughs> That cow's gonna get chopped in half. See ya. That tree got in the way. Now you understand why I want the trees gone. That cow's underneath the mower. <laughs> See how you can like stop at the end and literally make a zero turn with this thing. It's great. So we got four minutes left. We got uh, the bales, the bales, the bales, the bales picked up today. We got our chickens done and fed. We got our cows done and uh, ready to go. Got them their first batch of food, and we got straw added. And we finished collecting all the bales. And we here we go, everyone. All right, so be sure to look, look out for yourselves, look out for each other, and most importantly, look out for each other's families. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, 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 and hit the little notification ding, ding, bell. And be sure to enjoy your night, the day, the weekend. And on that note, Fear Machine will catch everyone on the flip side. Now, I'm going to go back to the other field while I still got light and clear out some trees. And that's what I'm going to do off camera. But 
I will catch you guys all tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock.